Yesterday I made a video where I asked our fans to send me a DM on our Discord server if they are consistently getting people way higher than them in levels, and man, I just didn't believe people were getting people 20 levels higher than them, but I was so surprised. There was a level like 35 that reached out to me that had like 550 medals, level 35. That's absolutely insane. That's my level right now. So great job to that player. You have to go offense if you're going that route. And uh, it's, it's interesting. So warriors kind of go out the window. So what do you use at that level? And today I'm going to be trying to defeat a couple players using all Zookas. Now all Zookas at a low level is really interesting, but you're going to go for a smoky combination. And also one more thing. I am very much aware that my players on my map are way lower than your players on your map. We still got some players over 10 levels higher than me. <laughs> it was like 30 levels higher than that level 35 player. It baffles me guys about. I'm gonna try to give you some all Zooka tips, but in all honesty, just get to the core, hit the core as hard as you can, and then you'll be fine. Just drop all my troops and uh, Definitely when you get to a higher level, you do need to, you do have to watch out more for the defenses and not losing them all. And man, my smokes are so short. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how short my smokes were. I lost so many Zookas on the way up, but now I know my smokes are really, really short. We're going to drop a shock down and a final med kit and... Watch my poor Zookas take down the core. I lost a lot of troops, but you can see the raw power of Zookas. If you're going to defeat players that are 30 levels higher than you, I know I can't show you gameplay now. I'm trying to push on this account so I can show you that gameplay. But if you're trying to defeat players way higher than you, flanking is going to be your key. Just trying to clear a dead spot. If you don't want to use Zookas, if you don't want to use Warriors, or go for the warrior Zooka combination not together <laughs> one or the other is what i meant to say so i learned from my last battle that my smokes do not last very long i honestly don't think i've done a ooh, gotta hear them a all zooka video on this account like i'm just being 100 percent honest i don't remember ever doing an all zooka attack on this account before so this is the first and we're gonna have to drop another flare and get some more smokes down and we're only gonna need one smoke on the park hopefully they should oh oof okay we're gonna drop a flare up a little drop a shock and get two shocks down the flame in the back man okay we got a med kit on our troops activate our hero jeez what is up with me very very sloppy but we got the dub again again all zookas just raw power if you can harness that power you're gonna be doing pretty well but if you just lose your zookas on the walk up kind of like what i did and you're gonna have some issues let's move it up a notch and try to take down this player who is okay it's just not gonna happen i wanna should we try taking down that player with warriors yeah let's try it we're gonna save our zookas and we're gonna load up warriors i don't know if i'm gonna be able to defeat this player using warriors but we're gonna try and we're gonna see how well it goes take down those mines Drop a initial flare, get our hero down, and just load our warriors on that side. Okay, drop a flare right under the core. We lost our hero. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this now. We hit both of the mines, which was what I was trying to avoid, and flare to the core. Honestly, if I had taunt, this would be epic, but I don't have taunt, so... Yeah, drop a shock, drop a second shock, and get a med kit down. Now, it's going to be risky because that shock launcher is going to become active about halfway through. It's going to become active and just able to get it. Look at that. You know, it would have been a hard Zooka hit simply because of the rocket launchers, of the laser beam, of the shock launcher, just so much stuff. I would have had to bring heavies. I would have had to bring one boat of heavies. And it would have been just very sloppy hit because of his mines. In some battles, you just have to use warriors because they're going to work better than Zookas. But Zookas, if you boost up your gumbo energy, you should be able to take down any base you can take down using warriors. So how are we going to defeat this player? Again, this base would be super easy using warriors, but I want to try bringing 
Zookas, because this is a Zooka video. We're gonna hug the left hand side. Once we reach that, I'm trying my best to avoid to avoid that and drop a smoke. What? <laughs> well, I didn't avoid it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring one boat of heavies and the rest Zookas. We're gonna land here. And we're gonna go like this. Oops, forgot to take down those mines. It's okay though. Drop our hero, drop our heavies, and drop our flare to the side. We're gonna hug this corner. So I noticed on my last battle that I was too late with my initial smoke. I just lost too many troops to the laser beam. So we're not gonna make that mistake again. And this is going very well. Let's drop our next flare. And of course, my troops are peeking off the left-hand side. But we recovered. Look at that. Sick. Okay. Activate our hero. Drop our flare. Get our shocks down. And I don't know why I shocked those over there. I guess we shocked. Freaking gods. Struggle. The struggle is real. But we gotta win. So what changed in that battle? I mean, the rocket launcher didn't take down half my troops initially. I saved a bunch more troops from the laser beam, and it just overall went much better than my first battle. So, there we go. A person who was 13 levels higher than me, so I know it's not 20 levels higher than me. Those are hard bases, and I'm hoping eventually we're going to get to that level. So, this is the kind of base I like to see when I am using all Zookas on my main account, my low level account, any account. So what makes this base so good? There's just no defenses over here. And it's gonna be really easy to go from that side. My troops are very, are very spread out right now. Cause I messed up. Smokes. Okay, hopefully this will be my best attack yet. Really open for that. Don't know how it's gonna go. Flare to the core. Shock, 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 shock. Wow, we had enough for three shocks. And my shocks were late, so if they were on time, they would, we would crush. Oh, frick, we're gonna lose. Are you kidding me? New strategy. We're gonna take down the flamethrower. Boom. Now we don't have to spend a shock on it. We're gonna drop another artillery there. I am starting to realize how much energy I actually have. It's not a very long walk, so we can afford to use more energy clearing mines and stuff. Okay. I'm feeling it. This is the one. This is the one. So, wait a sec. Just drop that flare. So, I, I know what I did the last couple battles. <laughs> it's unfortunate. When you don't have critters, it does get more complicated, but that's where you guys are. Like, you guys don't have critters. Most of you are just trying to get by with your with your warriors, with whatever troop combination you're rocking, and we don't have enough for a third shock, but I think shocking the rocket launcher at the top was definitely the move to make. So rocket launchers hurt your troops so much. I guess I was just prioritizing a mortar and a machine gun greater than a rocket launcher. Typically, I just drop critters, so I'm not used to actually shocking rocket launchers that are far away but there we go a level 47 drops let's move on to this level 44 in the back it's okay we can do this so i'm actually going to save this base for later just because it's not a zooka base it's a tank base i could easily take down that player using tanks and we have no other players what when there's an obvious tube combination that you can use to take down a base. You might as well just use that tube combination and take down the base. There's really no need to get super fancy and try to take it out using a tube combination like all Zookas when it's clearly not. It's clearly made to counter Zookas. It's clearly made to counter Warriors. So I don't think anyone at this level actually assumes you're gonna use Zookas. <laughs> People just 
assume you're gonna use warriors or assume you're gonna use tanks because those are honestly the only true troop combinations <laughs> the only ones that are good is what I'm trying to say leveling up in boom beach is hard but it's fun it's a lot of fun I want you guys to have fun also so you don't have to follow my tips I give you I'm just trying my best to help you out so if you don't want to if you want to play your way go for it like your way could be more fun than my way but when you're this low in metals, it's really easy to clear your map. Once you get up higher and you start coming across players that are just insanely hard, it's gonna get very, very difficult, very, very fast taking down players. And I am 100% aware of that. And this attack is not going as I would hope. I am losing a lot of tanks, but it's okay. Because we're gonna drop a shock. As soon as I take down that rocket launcher, on, get a flare over so low level tips if you if you can't defeat a player using warriors if you can't defeat a player using um, all zukas or tanks the main three troop combinations then you really aren't gonna have a chance unless you boost up and you there's nothing wrong with boosting up boosting up can help you take down way higher level players but not everyone has as much power powder as me because people boost up more frequently. So if you're having trouble clearing a map, consider saving your bases once a day, doing a boost, clearing a map then. Um, if you have a hard time getting loot once a day, boost up your resource reward, clear your map, you'll be fine. Um, use the events to your advantage. I know once you get up higher, Dr. T's loot doesn't help you as much, but when you're low level, it definitely does help. What else? Leveling up tips. Yeah, just honestly try to take down every player you can, but don't spend too much gold taking down players. I've spent millions of gold trying to take down a single player, and it hurts later on in my matchmaking. And it hurts later on in my map clearing session. So save the hard bases for last, take down the easy bases, and then if you have gold, clear the hard bases. But there we go. I cleared all of the important player bases on my map. Now I know I don't have Dr. T cleared yet or started. I can't finish Dr. T at this level, but I'll probably do it off camera just because there's too much uh, content in this video for you to soak in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. And now for the end of the video upgrades. So I upgraded all my landing craft so they can each hold 18 troops now, which is good. I'm starting on the 19 space upgrades and over here i don't really have that much loot so i don't really Ooh, ooh, let's go we're gonna get ourselves a guardian you know what let's just gym this up use code cosmic destroy it and then masterpiece it we need to start upgrading our storages let's do our iron storage to level seven and it's a very cheap upgrade but it will help me tremendously so i hope you enjoyed the video drop a like as always and i'll talk to you in the next boom beach video bye